new. Okay, now the next thing I want to talk about, and this is the last thing, is floor preset. And I'm going to go and I'm going to load up this four high preset. And as this is loading, I'm, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so I have the four high preset loaded up into my scene here. And the one thing I want to focus on, and I did overlook this neat feature here, is the fact that within the Stage FX Pro folder, under the master handle, within the floor folder, if you click on floor pattern right here, in the parameters tab, you have the ability to move around your floor. You can move it in the Z position, X position, and you can scale too. Okay, so we can scale our floor. All right, and this can be animated too. All right, uh, in Puppeteer, I can add a dot there, go back to my parameters, scale that up, add a parameter there, and then right here in preview mode, Notice we can even animate the floor. All right, and we can change a pattern in the color too. So right here in the floor, select this pattern here. Okay, let me do the squares. Preview. All right. And you might be noticing some artifacts here, and that just has a lot to do with my OpenGL preview is not refreshing the way it should be. But if we do the render, whoops, let me cancel that. Render, render settings, gotta go to OpenGL mode, render. Okay, notice that the OpenGL render is fine. All right, but my preview mode, because I'm screen recording at the same time and doing all kinds of stuff, it's just not redrawing the screen properly, but again, in render mode, render. All right, and that's a nice render for OpenGL. It's just an amazing render for OpenGL. But uh, again, you have all those floor options. And in, in addition to that, remember, you advanced users, you can load up your own alphas here. And after you do that, you can go simply go to the floor pattern. With your own unique patterns, you can have the ability to access these tools here to rotate, you can rotate, scale, and move your pattern and even animate it. All right, so that's it. I covered as much as I could here in this video overview of Stage Effects Pro. I told you in the beginning that you were going to be blown away by all the features that you find here. If you're not completely blown away by this, uh, I mean, I just don't know what to say. I mean, what more can you ask for? I mean, there is just a tremendous amount of features within Stage Effects Pro here. All right, so with that, I'm just going to end this video. And again, if you want to find Stage Effects Pro, just go to the Daz 3D store. You can type in Stage Effects Pro and you'll find the product there.